So let's look at the components of the game. This is how the box looks. Once you open it, you will find that you have an instruction manual, four players board, which is also the soil cover, one main board, which we call the bio reserve. You'll also find one teacher's handout and one FAQ. Apart from that, there will be four commodity guides. There are these blank cards which are spare in case you lose the original ones. And then you have these tree tokens. And lastly, the original set of 85 cards. Let us now look at how to set up the game. So we place the main bio reserve at the center like this and place these four player boards against these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's now deal the cards. So we look at the different types of cards. At first, you'll find that we have 30 landfill cards. We know that by the symbol that you see on the top right. So we'll keep these aside. These brown cards are what we call the eco cards. So we keep that aside. The ones marked with the X are refuse cards. These are the reuse cards. The white ones are listed here. If you look at the commodity guide, basically all the cards that we're looking at are listed here. So these white ones are recycle cards. And the last set with the leaves is the biodegradable cards. So for dealing, what we first do is keep aside the eco cards at the beginning of the game. Then we take the landfill cards, shuffle it well, and then deal five cards to every player. Then we take the recycle cards, shuffle it well again, and then deal two cards to every player. Then we take the biodegradable card, once again shuffle well, and two cards to every player. For reuse and refuse, there's six of each. We put them together, shuffle them, and put only one card for each. So you might get a reuse or a refuse. The rest of the deck can be shuffled well and placed at the center as the main deck. So all of the cards are actually mentioned in this commodity guide. You see that there are symbols assigned to every category of waste, like recycle, landfill, etc. So for example, if we take this card, we see nylon rope has a symbol of landfill and we can see it listed against the landfill list. So that's how we get to know what cards we have in our hands. Every player gets a commodity guide at the beginning of the game. And you also see that the commodity guide has a list of instructions in the back side. And this is, of course, the list of all the cards. So let's take a look at the cards that this person has. There are five landfill cards. There will be two white colored, that is the recycle cards. Two biodegradable cards. And this person happens to have got a reuse card. So it's possible that the others got a refuse card and so on. Let's see how to play the game now. I've zoomed in on these two sections. So firstly, keep the eco-friendly cards out and keep the tree tokens accessible to everyone. These 10 cards that are dealt to you basically reflect your household waste and you're supposed to dispose them off responsibly. Each time you play a certain card in this game, you have to actually pick up a card from the main deck. This reflects that waste is continuously generated in our house and we have to do this till the point that the deck finishes. And the tree tokens that you find here are basically the rewards for positive actions. So let's see how one can gain trees. So to play a biodegradable card, you place it on your own soil cover. And once you do this, you get a sapling in that place because obviously saplings can go well where there is compost. You can place another biodegradable card under the same so you can stack them and you get another sapling for it. When there's a case that there are two trees or saplings, on a biodegradable stack, you can actually transfer them to your bioreserve, which is marked by the triangle ahead of you. So you flip them as trees and move the biodegradable cards in your bioreserve. And now in that place where there was uh, the stack, you place a third sapling. So this is one way to get trees or saplings. Now, in this particular space, you can continue to add biodegradable cards in the future for which you will get more trees and again, you keep transferring them to the bio reserve. And remember that you have to pick a card every time you play a biodegradable card. Now let's look at a landfill card. Landfill has this symbol. 
there's only one way to play the landfill card. Basically, you place it in your soil cover. They cannot be stacked. And once this card has been played, this place has, this location is gone for the rest of the game. And you have to pick up a card every time you play a landfill card. Now, let's see a recycle card, which are these white cards with this symbol here. So when I play a recycle card on my own soil cover, that means I've started a recycling center for that particular material. In this case, it's a plastic recycling center. This means that in subsequent turns, other players can use my recycling center to deposit their plastic waste. And for this, both the members will get trees as rewards. So let's take an example. If player four has this plastic jerry can card, which is also a plastic recycle waste, Instead of playing it in their own soil cover, they can play it in player three's uh, recycling center and they both get a tree for it. Now trees can only be placed on biodegradable cards or bioreserve. So player three doesn't have a biodegradable card, neither does player four. So for in both cases, you'll find that they get the tree, but it'll be their bioreserve. So remember, when you play any form of a recycle card, you will always pick a card from the deck. Let's look at the next card that is basically a refuse card. A refuse card comes with this X symbol. Refuse cards are basically cards where you say that I refuse to use this because there are better alternatives for it. So refuse is played outside the game board and in lieu of that you will pick up an eco-friendly alternative of that card. So for example for plastic disposable spoon the eco-friendly alternative is a metal spoon. Metal spoon is not only reusable, but it's also recyclable. So in subsequent turns, you will play this as a recycle card. So refuse card always gives you good cards in return. So whenever you play a refuse card, you will play it outside the board and you will pick an eco card and you will not pick up a card from the main deck. So let's look at the next card now. This is a reuse card. A reuse card basically means that you're going to not throw this away and use it again. So you will place this card outside the game board and for this you will not pick up a card from the deck. So you play with one card less for the rest of the game. Let's look at some example moves now. So let's take the following situations. We'll take player four's cards and we see that this player has a newspaper so if you look at all the recycling centers that are there, player 1 has a recycling center of paper. So player 4 can play their newspaper card on player 1's paper recycling center and both get a tree for it. So we look at the tree that goes for player 4 in the bioreserve because there's no biodegradable card here. And for player 1, see what happens. They have a biodegradable card, so the sapling actually goes on the biodegradable card. And remember the two tree rule. The moment they are two trees, they go onto the bioreserve, flip and become trees along with the card and you get a third tree in that same location. So in this case, player one had more benefit than player four for this particular move. Now let's, uh, the uh, player four has to pick up a card after this. So now we look at player one's turn. So in the previous turn, it looks like player one had refuse paper, plastic packaging and got a paper packaging. So this player one can choose to play this card in their own recycling center. Nobody else has a paper recycling center. Remember if you have, you're the only one with the recycling center, you can play it in your own uh, recycling center and gain a tree. The tree goes in the bioreserve because there's no biodegradable card and then picks a card. Now let's see player two's turn. If you look at all the cards that player two has, they seem to have a uh, interesting plastic recycling card I think oh yes there's a milk packet here so milk packet can be played in player three's plastic recycling center and player two and player three both get trees player two gets the tree in the bioreserve because there's no biodegradable card here and player three also gets a tree in the bioreserve because they don't have biodegradable cards they pick player two picks a card and the turn is over so let's see how the game progression goes the game looks somewhat like this towards the end Basically, the game ends when everyone's soil cover finishes and there are no more playing moves left. So, eventually you'll find that the deck finishes and everyone seems to be having an excess of landfill cards in their hand. So, the idea is to just play off the remaining cards in the hand. So, for example, player 3 still has a biodegradable card. So, they can play this card and do the tree moving and place a third one. Player 
Four has all landfill cards, so they have to play a landfill card. Player one seems to have all landfill cards, so also has to play only landfill card. And player two has a reuse card, so they can play it as a reuse outside the game board. So this will continue till the point that all the players finish all the moves that they have. And then if they have no other playable moves left, they will then fill up the rest of the spaces with the landfill cards that they have in hand. And this marks the end of the game. So now the winner of the game is decided by counting the number of trees each player has planted. So the ones in the bioreserve as well as the one in the soil cover minus the cards in hand. Cards in hand reflect basically the cards or the mismanaged ways. So they account for negative points. So even if you have like recyclable cards by chance that is also considered as negative. So this player has 12, this player has 11, this player has a score of 10 and this player has a score of, so let's count the trees, that's 21 minus 4, so that's a score of 17, so player 3 wins this particular game. Remember that you have this commodity guide and the summary of rules are given here. So for every card, if you want to know, can you place it in other soil cover and all, you have a simple tabulated format there. I hope the game was easy enough and uh, just some small tips. Hold on to your landfill cards because, you know, they can fill up your space very fast. Make sure you think about which recycling centers you want to open. Some are more useful than others. So take des good decisions on that. Think when you want to use your reuse cards, when, you know, whether the deck is there or not. So these are just some small tips. If you still have any doubts, do get in touch with us and we hope you enjoy the game.